Mad Movies is on, and they're dubbing my voice. Well, aren't they dubbing my voice, too? Yeah, but for all I want seen. Well, I only want. Is it the way I look, the way I wear my hair? No, I think it's that stupid blast that you made out of coasters. Ken Scove, and welcome to Mad Movies with the L.A. Connection. What you've just seen is a clip from our version of D.O.A., originally about a desperate man with only 24 hours left to live. But our actors changed the dialogue completely. We thought the star looked like a famous Latin band leader from an old TV sitcom. So we decided to write a whole new episode that you can't see anywhere else. Let's go to Rico's club. He'll put us in the show. <laughs> That's a great idea. If I don't get a job soon, I'll have to run for president. <laughs> you do, and I'll throw this in Rico's face. Oh, wait. I can't promise him if you're a number in the show. Oh, Rico, oh, you no. can't promise a number for us? Well, I've got one for you. Immigration. <laughs> <laughs> if you recall, Rico was a band leader who worked at a nightclub called the Tropicana. And we thought, wouldn't it be a gas if we went to the Tropicana? But of course, there isn't one. There never was one. So instead, we came to the Tropicana Motel. So don't go away. We'll be right back with our mad movie. I wonder if Ethel ever took any towels from here. Mr. Picardo. Huh? That's dinner? I ordered steak, baked potatoes, okra, and a burrito. Uh, oh, we had a glass of cheese. What about my pudding surprise? Oh, I ate that on the elevator. Surprise! Anyway, it's bad for your teeth. How would you know? Well, I'm also a dentist on the Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> well, oof. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Welk. Say, Rico, I was wondering if I could use your telephone number. Oh, sure. We're having a party across the hall and my bubble machine is broken. <laughs> Say, why don't you join us? Bring your bongos. Okay. I have to call a Bobby and a sissy. Operator, get me a one, a hand a two, a hand a three. I'm back, folks. Please hold your applause. Rico here has decided to join us. I'd like you here to meet Nancy and Ronald Reagan. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm an actor. Nancy tells him what to do. A wonderful, a wonderful. Uh... When it comes to the polka, I can't keep up with Fred Astaire. I can't dance. Don't ask me. You know your wife, Rosie, and this is Fred Astaire. Oh, you've got quite a wife there. We were dancing pretty well until she hit me in the head with that hat. Oh, thanks. Rico, you'll need a nap. Oh, that's okay. I'll use my fingers. Oh, he always puts on a show. Show? I'll call Ginger. Show? I could get a hold of the Beach Boys. It would be great. Well, I could show you my act, but there's not enough room in here for the giraffes and the Franks out the floor, Don. Oh, well, let's all go down to Rico's club, the Tropicana, and he'll put us all in the show. <laughs> oh. Uh, that sounds great, because if I don't get a job soon, I'll have to run for president. <laughs> you do, and I'll throw this in Rico's face. Oh, wait. I can't promise any of you a number in the show. Oh, oh. Rico, you can't promise a number for us? Well, I've got one for you. Immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Club's too small. Thanks. <laughs> you don't have to tell everyone. Rusi? Oh. Rusi? Oh, I shouldn't have drank that whole glass of cheese. Rusi? Oh, where's that pain in the neck? Oh. What if she left me? Babalu! <laughs> oh, boy, my heart greasy. I gotta get dressed. Rusi? Uh, Rico, this is, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, it's you, Ethel. Uh, I was hoping it was Rosie. She's disappeared. It's gone too, Rico, along with our refrigerator, our shower curtain, and worst of all, a box of pancake mix. Uh, it must have run away with Rosie. Uh, I think so. I don't know. 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 I don
How could they do such a thing? Uh, running off and leaving us with nothing for breakfast. Listen, my girl, I need the police's help. Park it. My wife, Rusty, is missing. I think she ran off with Ed Nertz. I've looked in every crown and nookie, and you're my last hope. <laughs> this wouldn't be Rusty Picardo, five foot seven, 115 pounds, red hair. Jess. Never heard of her. <laughs> Dano, take this order down to Wolfat's World of Wonton and make sure I get a fortune cookie this time. <laughs> so, Mr. Picardo, you want to tell us your story or do you want to just sit there with your mouth hanging open? Uh, I'd like to sit here with my mouth open, but the flask will get out. Uh, my life began to go down the toilet last week. I was in my office showing my secretary pictures of my little Rico. Then Ethel came in. Rusie's on the phone. And here's little Rico and here's Sombrero. <laughs> Tell Rusie I'll be late, Ethel. All right, Rico. Well, and here he is bearing a naked rug. Ooh, he's so cute I could just hold him and squeeze him. <laughs> like toothpaste. Hey, Rico. I'm taking Rosie's car to Mexico to fix a windshield wiper. Adios, eh? Hey, wait a minute. What's Rosie gonna drive? She's gone with me. I should have been suspicious when I remembered that we don't even own a car. But that reminded me I got to change my own oil. I decided to check with my neighbors to see if they'd heard from Rosie. <laughs> Mrs. Trumple! I know you're in there. I hear you're branding cattle. Have you seen Rosie or little Rico? Uh, no, I, uh, well, it's just that I... Oh, do you know where they are? Hey, no. pal, little Rico is 32 years old, and you owe Mrs. Trumple $10,000 in babysitting fees. I do? It's too much yeah. trouble. Check for change. Nope. Rosie, get Rosie. For Rosie. Oh, so Rico, that car. Oh, shut up. I don't want to tie. Oh, that was wild. Hey, hey, who the heck do you think you are? Uh, Rico Picardo, famous Latin band leader. Oh. Well, uh, in that case, come on in. <laughs> oh, those nurses, they couldn't resist rumpling me to bits. Huh. Care for some coffee? Uh, it's my own special blend. Uh, coffee? How can you thin up coffee at a time like this? Ah. Times like these were made for tasting coffee. This was brewed in a nuclear-powered coffee machine. Fill it to the rim. Gee, he never has a second test tube at home. We've moved on to the Tropicana liquor store. I doubt very much if this place has a floor show. Anyway, we'll be right back with our mad movie in a minute, but first, Take a look at what happens when little Rico goes crazy after he gets his driver's permit. I wonder if this place has a two-drink minimum. I don't have a license, Dad. So, if anything happens, it's you who's responsible. My husband Ralph and that bowling mishap. I didn't feel safe without a man around the apartment. So I hired the first stud that came along. What's up, Rico? I've been looking all over for Rosie. Checked with missing persons? No, they were missing. But I've checked every alley and gutter. Oh, Rico! Mm. Oh. You shouldn't have brought up bowling. Huh? So you lost your wife. Take mine, please. Thanks. Here's my keys. Go down and pick her up. Oh, wait. I don't care for bald women, but mm -hmm. I'll see if anyone in the lobby wants her. All right. What? Ethel, any word from Ed yet? Uh, Ethel, will you turn the phone around? Oh, is this better, Rico? So that's what the problem's been. You know, I've always had to... Will you stop talking and tell me what you called to say? But, well, all right. Uh, I, I found this note. It says, darling, I miss you. I'm sorry for anything I may have done. Be mine forever. I love you. Well, that's right. How did you know? Darn it, Ethel, I wrote that note. Uh, now put it back and stay out of my apartment. Ugh. Maybe the Mission Impossible Force can help me. I'd like to see Mr. Phelps. It's Phillips. I have an impossible mission for him. I'll see if he's in. I'll use my 
Secret Dick Tracy, intercom. We know you're in there. He's branding cattle. Go in. <laughs> Mr. Bacardo. I need your help. Sit. Uh, you're on my branding iron. Yeah! Oh, have your hand on the stand. You'll never find me there. Oh, forget it. Ali, Ali, Oxen Free! Lucy Junior, could you get this picture of Sean Penn autograph for me? He dumped me for Madonna. Well, maybe you should have worn your bra on the outside. But what about your mother? Huh? Mother? She doesn't wear a bra. That's not what I meant. Have you heard from her? Or have you seen her? By the way, you have something there on your chin. Oh, yeah, that's the paint thinner. I'm oh, trying to remove some of that makeup, huh? You know how sensitive I am about that stuff? You haven't had a kind word to say to me ever since I made the jazz singer with Neil Diamond. Now you've got your hand in front of my face. That does it. Give me your checkbook. Oh, you got a weed eater at Sears. It's for the guys in the band. Oh. Uh, you shouldn't play with these things in the house. Checks are dangerous. Uh, so are Poles and Swedes. We're going to Little Rico's. I ain't going over there. His house smells like a cat box. You broke my frame, and you're gonna pay for it now. Little Rico, we've been waiting for you. Pops here's looking for Mom, but Mom ran away with Ed Nertz. Mm. Oh, Mr. DeCorderoy, we got the deed to the Nertz property. Nertz property? Mm. That's right. Ed sold me the apartments, and I'm raising your rent. How can you raise the rent? I've got a bad plumbing. So do I. I think it's hereditary. But I'm not one to hold a grudge. Then hold this! Who are you? I don't have a license, Dad. So, if anything happens, you're responsible. That's one. Two. This is my stop anyway. I gotta run. <laughs> All right, they just waxed the floor. You're safe! <laughs> Phillips, how many times do I have to tell you that? What is it, Rico? I autographed a, a picture for you. Uh, this is a picture of Sean Penn. But it's my handwriting. Are you sure? Yeah, I was there when I wrote it. Hmm. There's a scribble on the back. Yeah, I know. My pen wanted to write it first. What's this for? Payment. Payment for what? Another mission. It's dangerous. Very. I'm afraid you'll be risking your life. You want me to find the birds that messed up your suit, huh? That's right, Mr. Phelps. Babalu, Babalu! Stop that. Oh, good. Could I please have Sean Penn's autograph? Sure. I ordered bacon and eggs. All we had was a glass of ham. Oh, great. Hmm. Wait. Uh, yes, sir? Uh... Uh, this glass is dirty. You didn't order a clean one. Oh, fine. Eh. <laughs> Ethel, I love you. Faith has brought us together. <laughs> Gesundheit. Rico, I'm falling for you, too. But I'm allergic to your hair cream. It stinks. What, is it made from pig grease? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, folks. Uh, hi, Mr. Drucker. Hi, Ranko. Ranko, can I sit by you? Sit over there and behave yourself. Let's sit over here. <sighs> Thanks, Rico. Say, uh, could I have one of those to tap? This is really a lot of fun. You think that's fun? Try lighting the wrong end. <laughs> hey, little diddle cold. What do you say, Mr. Drucker? Oh, Mr. Douglas shot Mr. Haney, and uh, Arnold got elected mayor of Hooterville. <laughs> yeah. 
But you didn't order a clean glass. <laughs> Shug it, Rico. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Tonight on Lance, we'll... Hey. Hey. Hey, that's Rico Bagarda. I know that guy. I, I met him earlier today. Hey, Rico. Huh? Rico. Huh. Hey, I know his kids, too. Hey! Huh. Yo, Rico! Hi. Hey! Rico! Uh. Over here in the car! Say hi to my cousins from Kansas City! Uh. Yo, Rico! Yo! Hey! Hey, is that Rusi's mom you're sitting next to? Hey! This is McGilla Cootie! Don't say nothing, Mom. Hey, Rico! Look at it! Another stuck-up TV star! I don't know where Rusi is. All I have is that note. Are you talking about this note that's all crumpled and sweaty? Yeah, that's the one. I got it from Ethel. She said that she found that note somewhere. Honest. She found it in my apartment. I wrote it. Hey, Rico Bacardo. Huh? Up there on the balcony. Uh, I know that guy. Hey, Rico. Uh, oh, no. uh, Rico. Uh, look, Betty, I don't care if you're one of Rosie's best friends. I'd have stuffed you in a conga drum. Whatever you do, don't put me in the closet. Oh, good idea. Develop my pictures while you're in there. Hey, it's Rico! Ah, Rico, ah, give me a piggyback ride! No! Oh! Hey, everybody! It's Rico! Over here! <laughs> hey! Rico! Rico! Wait up for us! See, see ah. my room for us! If Ed Nurse were here, I'd pound his papaya. Oh, Rico, don't be mad at Ed and Rusi. If they hadn't have run off, we'd never have fallen in love. I'm so happy. I could dance. Oh, don't do that, Apple. Oh, Rico, my back! <laughs> Sorry, it was the only way I knew to stop you. I love you so much, Rico, so much that it hurts. I was so very sick of being Mrs. Nurse. I love the special feeling when your chin dents in my head. Now my heart is reeling, for I am rid of Ed. Oh, I'm so nuts about you, I love you to death. Why won't you face me? Is there something on my breath? When I grab your armpits, I can tell that you'd be wise to buy an antiperspirant, especially for guys. I had my search for Rusi. My energy was spent. But at the lock and you'll see. Oh, yes, I see. you for the ranch. <laughs> nice set of pipes. I'm sorry, Mr. Picardo. The guys in the back were making faces, and I wasn't paying attention. Huh? Could you repeat your story? You weren't listening? <laughs> Rico, don't lose that temper. <laughs> hey, caramba! Ay, chihuahua! Oh, que terrible! Ay, Fernando! Oh, que vergüenza! What a baby. What do we put on his report? Just use the initials. We're dreadfully overacted. Well, that brings us to the close of another mad movie. As you can see, we've moved on to the Tropicana coffee shop. You know, rewriting the plot to Hollywood's finest movies is fun. But it's no more of a challenge than writing dialogue to your home movies. Tonight was sent in by Melinda Philbrook of Norwalk, Connecticut. And it's a story of a lucky family that goes from rags to riches. Well, hello there. This is a story about me, my kids, and how we went from rags to riches. For years, we were so poor we existed on watermelon alone. Pretend you're eating something else, I told the kids. Most of the time, they couldn't take it. And then one day, as we were leaving the supermarket, we were given our free scratch-and-win game pieces. We were thrilled to discover we'd won a chance to compete in their talent contest. I don't want to brag, but we have talent. Some people would have given their eye teeth to have been in our position, but the competition was tough. There was the one-man valet valet, a skilled parking lot acrobat, and a man who could locate missing persons just like that. Were we scared? No. We pulled out all the stops and created this magnificent living family portrait. Seen here in progress. Well, you could have heard a pin drop as the judges emerged from their endless deliberations. This was the moment we'd been waiting for. Had we really won? <laughs> well, their smiling faces told the whole story. And when we got all of our prizes, is home. Dad washed our brand new car while Mom performed the baptism. Well, that's our show for this week. Our Tropicana Rama has led us to one last location. 
the hollywood tropicana nightclub but it's quite a bit different than the tropicana where rico once played you see this particular tropicana you see a lot more babalu than you hear see you next time it was fun watching mad movies with you but i really have to go now listen to me man you're not really Rico Bacardo. Of course I'm Rico Bacardo. What do you mean I'm not Rico Bacardo? The Ella Connection just did a whole show about me being Rico Bacardo, and they went alive. If Rosie calls, tell her I'm down at the club. Additional voices by April Winchell.